tattoo with cremation ashes as well as using the services of Cremation Ink, where we amalgamate your loved one's ashes into our high-quality tattoo ink, so you can keep a part of your loved one with your forever. Let's also look at some of the other options you have with regards to cremation ashes. Cremation Urns This is a very traditional approach to cremation ashes. Urns come in a plethora of different designs and made from different materials. Beautiful bespoke ones are available or you can even choose high quality ones from Amazon or eBay. They do come in various sizes, but the regular size is applicable for most people's ashes. Interment of Ashes This is where you bury the ashes in the ground, either in plastic and then that placed in an urn or not in plastic and placed in a wooden urn. The difference is if you wish the ashes to slowly dissipate back into the ground or have them kept away from the elements by keeping them in plastic. For some devout religions, any interment of ashes needs to be in holy land, such as a graveyard or a memorial spot in your local church grounds. Columbarium Until we researched, we didn't even know these existed, but they are very elaborate vaults where cremation ashes are kept. Similar to the funeral walls in the South American regions, except these separate internment spaces are smaller in size. Make a tree with their ashes. This is a fantastic idea, especially if your lost loved one loved nature. The concept being that you can buy a biodegradable urn which has a tree sapling or seed already set and compost at the top, and you fill the bottom with the cremains. As the tree slowly grows, it grows and takes its nutrients from the ashes. You can place them in your local park, if it's for a beloved dog or anywhere else. You can especially do this in your back garden if you want a day-to-day -day reminder of your loved one. Use their ashes to make a portrait. There are some incredible artists about there, and now some of them use their skills to create amazing portraits or art with the ashes of your loved one mixed into the medium. Whether it be watercolors, deep rich oils or any other artistic medium, they can do a design of your choosing. Most clients obviously choose a portrait of the one they have lost and get to look at it every day. Stuffed Toy Keepsakes Stuffed toys can be a way to helping the grieving process, and at times all we want to do is to have that special hug with the person we are missing the most. The ashes are placed in a plastic or silk bag and sewn into the body of the teddy bear. You can even do this at home yourself, with some careful cutting of the stitches of a favorite teddy and a quality repair once the ashes have been placed inside. Cremation Jewelry There are some great jewelry artisans out there who can add ashes in varying formats to make you some spectacular jewelry. They can embed the ashes in resin, then mount the ashes into a ring or necklace charm, or make a form of capsule to place some ashes in for you to wear. With the different jewelers out there, you can always find a style and use that to create your cremation jewelry. Tattoo using ashes Obviously, cremation ink is the professional choice for getting your loved one's ashes infused into tattoo ink, so you can get a memorial tattoo that has their ashes in it. It a fantastic was to keep that lost loved one close to you, and you can never lose the ashes that are eye on the tattoo. Explore more at cremationink.com